ahead and get started. Before we get started, I'll just let you know, uh, Jessica has a, had a very busy day the last couple of days. She, we had our Mother's Day brunch uh, up here yesterday. We fed 100, about 125 people, I believe, was the last count. Uh, it was really good. I got to come up and eat lunch with my mom yesterday, and uh, it was really good. And um, we had uh, everybody from S Steve Smith on up and on down here uh, yesterday. Uh, a lot of the people in the store here uh, were here. Brother Steve was here with us, and uh, we uh, we had a really good Mother's Day brunch. We really did. And if you all missed it, they'll always be. We do it every year. At the first couple of years, I think they did it. They did it at the train station, and uh, it was a really good deal there. But since we've got this beautiful facility here, there's no way, no reason to go anywhere else when we've got this here to do it with. So uh, we're proud of our little area here. So we're going to use it. So we're going to get started tonight, and uh, we have uh, the first thing on our menu or on our uh, recipes today is our Asian spinach salad with marinated mushrooms. We're doing all vegetables tonight. Uh, last week uh, when we were here, what did we do last week? Brain foods. Brain, Brain foods. foods, and it was all vegetables. Uh, so we're actually doing the second week, a, a second installment of vegetarian uh, but uh, I had a couple of people come in and want to know about the ingredients on our brain foods last week. They were making them, and uh, it went really good. We did a granola with cranberries and dried cherries. Uh, we did a blueberry zucchini bread. Some of you that were at the Slater Center on Friday, did you try that? Was it good? Yeah. Uh, that was. They said we want to use that uh, for Friday, so I give them all the. I wasn't here to do any of the food for Friday, so uh, uh, so we did that. And what was the other one? Well, we did avocado, corn, and tomato salsa uh, with, long, with uh, lime juice and cilantro in it. And it was really good also. So uh, but we're going to get started tonight. We're going to start off with our spinach salad with uh, marinated mushrooms. And you can see right here, we've already got our marinated mushrooms going. Uh, they need to marinate about two hours, okay? Uh, so we have started uh, them marinating and everything. Uh, a mushroom is a lot like a sponge in the sense that when you use this mushroom, uh, it's going to suck up what flavors you're marin in, marinating into it and marry them together. And you can use anything. A mushroom can be spicy. If you put spicy spice in there, it's going to absorb that just like a sponge and it's, it just takes on whatever flavor uh, that you uh, kind of put in there with it. It still has that meaty flavor. Uh, the mushrooms that we carry now here, I did not realize till the other day. These are Monterey mushrooms. Uh, can anybody tell me where Monterey mushrooms come from? California. Come from Loudoun County, Tennessee, on the other side of Knoxville. <laughs> the reason that I know that is we lived in Loudoun County for about three years when I was pastoring down there. And um, I'll tell you something. Uh, you go in there and you buy a big old bag, grocery bag full of mushrooms for $5. And I used to get them portobellos, five pound boxes of portobellos for like $5. We'd marinate them and grill them like hamburgers. And instead of using hamburgers, you just use mushrooms uh, for the meat. And they're really, really good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our mushrooms and I'm going to show you them. They have been marinating uh, today. I've been periodically coming by and shaking them up and stirring them up really good. And uh, we've got some liquid in the bottom that we're going to reserve also. And uh, so we have taken... Some soy sauce, we have taken vinegar, we've taken some brown sugar, some chili, chili, garlic sauce, and our oil, which is a rice, or excuse me, which is a sesame oil. And we talked about <coughs> sesame oil a little bit last week. Sesame oil, you just use very little of. It's a very overwhelming taste. If you've ever used it before, you know that it, it can really, if you put too much, it'll ruin a dish. I mean, it really will, because it's got a unique taste, and what you want sesame oil for is to blend with other things. And so what we've done is we've taken those and we whisk them together. We've added our mushroom, we've tossed them, we covered them, and we let them sit at room temperature for two, two hours, as it says in your recipe. Occasionally I've come by and tossed them and, and mixed them around. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drain uh, our mushrooms into a bowl. And to drain them, I'm really just going to reach in and pull them out because I want to save as much of that marinade in the bottom. And you can even give them a little bit of squeeze and, and some of it will come out. And you're going to see right in the bottom of this bowl the reserve marinade. And we're going to use that with, our, with the rest of our uh, spinach salad here in just a minute. You want to just get out as many as you can. 
If there's a few little pieces left in there, that's all right, because this is all going to go together in the end anyway, and so it's going to be okay there. So we've taken our mushrooms out, and uh, we're getting ready. We're going to toss our spinach and our corn and our avocado, and um, we talked a little bit. This is kind of like our salsa that we made last week uh, in the sense that we're putting the, the corn in and the avocado. Uh, if you weren't here last week, uh, I give a little, uh, if you didn't get a thing of the recipes last week, get one today before you leave. We've got a few more back there. Um, it tells the health benefits of all the foods that we cooked with last week because we was talking about brain foods. And so uh, Peggy said she didn't even eat nothing. She felt smarter already, so I don't know uh, about that. Is that true? And so, okay, so we, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, add all this stuff together. Just as soon as I get my glove on here. It's fighting me today. And let's see, let me find a bowl here. Need a pretty good size bowl to do this with. Right. So we're gonna go here to our spinach. And what I've done is I've taken this spinach out of the package already. I've, I've washed it. It says on here triple washed. Uh, that's not true. This has been quadrupled washed because I washed it again myself. <laughs> I've told you all before, and I'll tell you again, every time I use something like this, please wash it yourself. Uh, I don't trust anybody when it comes to the health of my family. So a cup, um, as it says on here, is very light. Uh, we're going to actually use, excuse me, we're actually going to use eight cups of spinach, mm -hmm. and we're going to consider that about a cup, okay? So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven and a half to seven and three quarters. <laughs> and we'll add that. That's about eight cups of spinach right there, and you've got a little left over here on the side also. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our spinach after we've we're going to add our corn in, and I've uh, all this is is a pack of corn that comes from our freezer section. It's been thawed. I thawed it in the microwave uh, right before everybody got here. We're going to add our corn in. Okay. Let's see. And then we're going to add our avocado. Uh, I showed you all last week, uh, if you weren't here last week, I'm sorry, I've already got them cut up, but I showed you all last week about cutting avocados. Mm -hmm. uh, avocados are really easy to cut, but they're also really easy to get cut with on yourself when you're cutting them, so be very careful when you're of dicing them up. So we've just taken these avocados, and as you can tell, I'm going to have to find a bigger bowl before it's over with. Yes, yeah. uh, that bowl is not as big as I thought it was. So we're going to put all of our avocado in. Our cup runneth over. That's a blessing, isn't it, brother? That is. Let me see what I can find here. I believe I might have found a, a good candidate. All right, they've, they've taken my big silver bowl. Let's we'll see if it's back here. Nope. Wait. Will you run downstairs, the one behind you? I'll, I'll let you stay. She gets to see me cook all the time, so go to the kitchen door and tell them you need a big silver bowl um, for the cooking class. So what we're going to do is when we get our bowl, um, we're going to go ahead and just try to get everything on here, and that way you can see, and then we'll toss it together after we get our bowl. We're going to add our <coughs> carrots, and on our carrots, it calls for you to take a carrot, okay, yeah. and the lengthwise cut it, and then cut it again, and then cut it in the matchsticks. And I worked hard all day on these. <laughs> Not. Um, I got a bag downstairs already done in the matchsticks. And so... <laughs> I got one back, thank you very much. Uh, but uh, you go down there and get those, and this calls for grated carrots, actually, in this. Our other one calls for you to cut them into matchsticks. Uh -huh. Folks, for this, you're going to want a crunch of flavor in it. This is, gives it a little bit more texture. When I grade carrots, it, gives, it gets real thin, and it doesn't have much texture. And I'm going to tell you, it just I like to have a little bit of crunch in whatever I'm eating. So we're going to add about a half a cup 
of our grated carrots. We'll probably add a little bit more because we add a little bit of spinach in there also. We're going to add just a little bit more in there. And then after we add our avocado and our carrots, we're going to add some green onions. Um, there they are. There they are. I've got it all spread out tonight. That's all right. We'll find it together. And uh, we're going to, it says about a half a cup, so we're going to add that in also. Many people like green onions, chives. You know, there a while back, people were really scared of green onions because there was a restaurant here in the area uh, that salmonella got started, and that's where they got started from. And you know why they got why salmonella got started through green onions? Anybody want to take a guess? They didn't wash them. Okay, and a green onion, when they come like this, uh -huh. they're hollow. Okay, that's prime candidate, prime territory for stuff to get in. So what I do is I cut the bulbs off, I cut them up to where they're hollow, and they're the hollow ones, I soak them and do it that way, okay? I wanted to show you that tonight, and be sure you do that. And the same thing in a minute, we're going to use this bok choy, and while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to tell you about it. Take notice when we use that, um, because the inside of that is like celery and a lot of other things. It, um, it tends to collect dirt in there. Thank you. It tends to collect dirt in there. And um, it uh, is hard to get clean, but if you do not get it clean, you're just asking for a, a chance to get sick. So now that we've got our bowl and we've got our carrots and we've got our green onions and everything in, we're going to toss it. Okay, we're just going to get all that going. We're going to toss it like this because I will toss it all over the floor if we do it the other way. We're going to mix all that together. We've got our avocado and our corn and our carrots and everything in there. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our marinade. You can see it doesn't look like a lot. Uh, comparisonally speaking, this is a lot of vegetables and stuff, and this is just a little bit of marinade. But this is going to add so much flavor to it. And you just want to drizzle it around. This has your sesame in it. It has your soy in it. It has your rice wine vinegar and all that that it calls for on your recipe. And so we're going to take this and we're going to just toss this again. Okay. You can do this if you wanted to. You could take your spinach and everything and you could uh, mix it up separate and put all of your spinach in little bowls, okay, and do it that way and then serve it in individual little salads. But to me, this is the <coughs> easiest way to do it. You can take it after you do it this way. And you can uh, just put it in your bowl separately. Uh, some people tend to like to make it look fancy. Uh, there's nothing fancy about me, okay? Uh, but we just take it and we just put it in there. We mix it up really good. We toss it. And uh, you're going to divide it between your bowls. And at the very end, uh, you're going to top it with your mushrooms that we have taken out. And to do this, when you're trying to make a presentation, uh, the best thing I know to tell you to do is to make a big well in the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. You've got all this wonderful flavor in here already. And then we're going to put our mushrooms right in the center. Okay. And I have toasted some sesame seeds before you all got here today. And we're going to sprinkle those over top. And we're going to give it, and then just, it's for look and for texture. And toasted sesame seeds, folks, sesame seeds by themselves don't have much flavor. But after you toast them, they have a wonderful flavor to them. They have a really good nutty flavor. And I just like to take a little bit of a little bit of carrot, place it on top. You eat with your eyes first. A little bit of cilantro. Okay, and there it is. That's a salad for one right there. That's a salad for one hungry people. Okay, and so there it is, and that's our um, Asian spinach salad with marinated mushrooms. So we'll be partaking of that here in just a little bit. Any questions on that before we go to our next recipe? Yes, ma'am. In terms of how many that's really for? They, uh, that says about eight servings. Um, <coughs> you know, we're here tonight, we're going to sample. So eight servings, four ways, that's going to pretty much cover us all here tonight as far as getting a little taste of it. Um, eight servings to me, though, would be kind of pushing it. That looks like a lot, but once you start adding it in on your plate, you know, when you go to a salad bar and you make a salad, uh, this is a good side dish to use with rice, uh, with roasted pork. Uh, you could also, any kind of Asian dish that you do, uh, 
Magnolia, or Magnolia, Mongolian beef has got really popular in our area here lately, and it's a spicy uh, beef dish. It would go really good with that because of the sesame oil and different things in it. Uh, anything you could really use it for a side, but it's again, it has a sesame oil in it, and anything Asian it would go good with. I don't think I would like it necessarily with hamburgers and hot dogs or country fried steak and gravy or anything like that, but it's a good side for about anything that you can think of. It's a good summer salad. You know, if you're going on uh, a picnic or something, this will keep really well. Uh, you just need to keep it cool. You can put it down in a cooler or something like that. Y yes, ma'am. How did you toast your sesame seeds? Just in the frying pan? I took them in and put them in a little pan that I've got right here. And I just sprayed every how many I wanted out there. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and just slid them in there and let them toast. That's another thing that you can use for a vessel of flavor, though. If you wanted to use a little bit of the chili oil that we have here and mix your sesame seeds up before you, before you um, brown them, before you uh, um, put them in the oven, that would just add another layer or a level of flavor to it also. Somebody else? So. That chili sauce, would you hold that bottle up? The uh, chili garlic sauce. It is. It's right is here. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Is that right there? Right. It'll be here after the class and everything. Okay. You can come up and look at it then also. Any other questions about it before we go on? Yes, 